trolled me. <laughs> this pet is the best. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Foolcraft. I hope everybody are doing fan freaking fantastic. Now, guys, today, oh, <laughs> I got some plans for today. What we're gonna do, I've decided since last time that we are going to indeed try and build a new base, if you will, with this kind of style and we're gonna do quite a uh, quite a few things over ground so uh i got a list today i'm super super excited what we're gonna do we are gonna go on a uh <coughs> journey you and i look for a i want to find a biome okay i want to find a biome that suits like a military rundown uh super weird place of doom that where <laughs> where we can apply this type of military i don't know 60s james bondy style i i don't even know what to call it uh i got also i got a sign for us today another screen that i'm gonna show you later dr rainfalls has been has been branding <laughs> our new area and whoo <laughs> It is looking gorgeous. So uh, that's what we're going to do later. We're also, or I'm also, going to try and go mining and try and find some escalium. That's my, my husky in the background. Don't don't mind her. She, she's craving attention. Like I said, uh, I'm going to go and try and find some escalium because I do want to build a bigger escalium reactor. First of all, though, guys, I've been busy. Uh, <laughs> I've done some crazy stuff since that... Okay, I'm back. She was playing with her brother. It was adorable. I had to play with her for a little while. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, I've done something pretty big here. I figured out, uh, almost, this is almost complete, I should say. I figured out the bomb sites and I figured out a system for how we're going to do this. Check this out. Let me go up here. Uh, oh, crap. Do I have... I tried to prepare. Do I have a redstone block? I do have a... Okay, okay, okay. We're good. We're good, bro. Uh, okay, so let me grab that. Also, ooh, we can try a thing here that I just realized. Yeah, we'll try that in a second. So check this out. Uh, what I'm planning, by the way, this, this area underneath the arena that we worked on last time, in case you guys watched the video, uh, the, the fool's ground area, we are going to make it into... Uh, we have the, like, the storage thing here, and then down here, I'm going to make, like, the, the machines that rebuild the parts of the arena that we want to blow up. And down here, well, I'm kind of going to do that on both sides, I guess. I've designed, like, a bridge over here, and then I want to have some stairs or some ladders down here. And then down here is kind of, like, the testing ground. Now, check this out. This here would be the bomb site, so we would walk up and we would have a floor level. Oh crap, I don't have any blocks. We would have a floor level here. This cable would be hidden. This builder would be hidden. Uh, and then the, the team attacking would walk up and they would place down an igniting block, aka a redstone block, right here. Uh, oh, no, I need to first spawn the bomb. Oh, hold on. crap. Hold on, let me, let me spawn the bomb. I do that through that. Play, place. Look at that. It's building the bomb. Oh, and I need to feed it more stuff. I did. Dang it, I did prepare this. <laughs> Don't freaking judge me. It's hard. Okay, let me try that again. That's what she... No. Uh, th there we go. Okay. So the bomb is spawned. Now, the idea is... Uh, one team comes here. And to blow this up, we're going to give everybody a... Uh, uh, well, you don't really need it, I guess. We're gonna give everybody, uh, every team a stone pickaxe each. It's gonna be kind of core of the, of the game. So they come here, they break this protective glass, right? And then what they do is they put down the igniting block, which, <laughs> a block of redstone, look at this. Now what's happening is that this thing here is activating a timer. Right there, that timer is set to, uh, right now like a hundred ticks, so it's not, it's not a lot at the moment. And that then blows up the bomb. There we go. And what this also does is that it, as you saw, it takes away the igniter block. This is good. This is good. It takes away the igniter block. And then I'm working on the last module here, which is going to count the score uh, of uh, for the team. So I'm going to use something called a counter. 
Yeah, so check this out. If we would have a counter over here, we can set this to uh, just 99999. What this thing will do is it will count every time it gets a redstone signal. This is good. Uh, what we then can do, I think we can do something like this. Counter plus module. Uh, do I run? Okay, I set it to there. Then I think I can set up a screen. I need an RF tool screen though. One screen controller. I need to give it power scan. There we go. Okay, so now if I install this, you see the number. That's the point system right there. So let's try this again. Let's rebuild the bomb, which we can do with just a button press. <laughs> Super advanced. You see the TNT gets placed inside. So now let's, let's recap. The team comes up, they attack. They break this, hold on, let me set this timer right. I, we can control how long it will take until the bomb explodes. So let's set that to 200, okay? So the team comes up here, they break the glass, they put down their igniter. Now, the enemy team has a chance to come here and break the igniter with that stone pickaxe that we give to the teams. So that way we have a disarm function, just like in Counter-Strike. But, anyway, say that it doesn't. What's happening here when I, when I put the redstone block down is that I'm powering this timer, resetting it to zero. So that's that it starts over to, uh, to count up to 200. And then I'm powering that piston, let it blow up, boom. And look at this now. Now we got a point as well. This is good. Then uh, then it blows up the bomb, right? Then what I still got to do, and this is what I tried to work out last night, but I got too tired. I need to send a redstone signal over here to this line to rebuild the bomb. So, And that's going to happen on a timer interval of 400. So randomly, a little bit after the bomb is, is uh, uh, has, been, has been exploded, we'll... This will happen. The bomb will rebuild itself. Boom. And they can attack it again. Uh, I don't want it to rebuild itself immediately because obviously then uh, we, we run into the issue of uh, they can just camp here and they can just bomb and bomb and bomb. So uh, we got to have a delay in that until they can get their new point. Now, here's a cool thing that I learned as well. Check this out. If I take, let's try it with a steel block. I'm not sure if that works. But uh, let me get a redstone block. I think they are collected in here. Yes. Okay. Uh, so let me put this in here. Does it? Oh, it works with a steel block. Okay. There we go. There we go. Check this out. This here is now a redstone block. So that means we can design the igniter block, quotation igniter block, however we want. This is good. Now, this is going to count up to two if the bomb explodes. So, pretty much the whole bomb site uh, is now designed. I got the mechanics worked out. I just need this last module. Basically, uh, boom. Uh, basically, just for those of you who are interested, I'm going to hook up uh, uh, um, a... Uh, T flip flop here. I'm gonna take this pulse, turn it into a lever, and then with that lever, I'm gonna uh, reset the timer here and, and extend a piston block, just like I'm doing here. And then whenever the the 400 ticks uh, hit, it's gonna send through a signal and rebuild the bomb. So I may actually call in Doc for that because I tried to do a T flip flop and I kind of failed. <laughs> I felt a bit bad. There's no block in the game that does that. So the way this works, just real quick, uh, we have a builder down here. This guy here, and uh, we need to feed items into this hopper currently. We'll change that out for a pipe later. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, oh. <laughs> Recording, dude. Don't say nothing, nothing bad. <laughs> he wouldn't. But anyway, uh, then I have a builder here with a space chamber card linked to this thing here, which copies over this structure, including the air blocks, right? And then it copies it over here. So I have the air blocks here because I need to position the glass and all that kind of stuff. You understand how they work. You've seen them before. If you haven't, I'm sure Direwolf or someone has a good tutorial on them. <laughs> anyway, and then I have another builder here. And this is just set with a query card. So all this does is whenever the bomb blows up, it will clear the igniter. It will just break the igniter. So, oh crap, we crashed. Doc, your base is cursed. <laughs> oh, okay, we're back. Hopefully we're good. I, I hope we're good. Anyway, I can't remember where I were with this explanation. Pretty sure I was done with it. All Basically, all that remains is I need a function that whenever the explosion is done, then it needs to wait 400 ticks and then rebuild the bomb. So, this is pretty much done. And we should have got a... Yeah, we got two here now. 
This is good. <laughs> I really like this. Of course, we can we can change how this is visible and we can like make it all all fancy and stuff later. Uh, but all in all, done some stuff off camera. Now, what I want to do now, I just want to, I think, yeah, before I go search for a praise, before I go search with together with you for a praise, hopefully find some chance cubes and stuff, uh, I want to... Uh, go and mine for a little while. I did this the other day, and I mined for like four, uh, 40 minutes. I didn't find a single Iscalium, and I want to find a crap ton. So I'm just going to go out here somewhere where there's new terrain, uh, where I know that no one has been mining. This is actually a pretty good biome uh, style that we have the arena in. Like, like, this feels very worry to me for some reason, but we're not going to place it down next to the arena, so it will have to be somewhere else. But yeah, um... I'm gonna go mining and I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna set the timer on my phone to one hour. I kind of want to see, and, and all I need actually is, is Iscalium. So I kind of want to see how much Iscalium I can get in that time. Wish me luck, boys. <laughs> Wish me luck, girls. What? No. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no! This is disaster! My base! Oh my goodness, I'm so stupid! So guys... Oh, <laughs> this is bad! This is freaking terrible, man. Okay, okay, okay. I gotta hurry. Uh, get, get all of the stuff. <laughs> get all of the stuff. So, guys, I've been mining for exactly one hour. Right? And uh, I just, I just now teleported back. Uh, it, it's early in the morning <laughs> because I had to go to bed and stuff. But I mined for exactly one hour. Had to go back. So, I teleported back here. I just opened a chance cube, though. And the chance cube was one of those, uh, you know, that says, uh, wait for it. <laughs> Freaking wait for it! <laughs> so as I teleported back, I tabbed out. I was just gonna check my hard drive, make sure I had disk space and all that stuff, like I always do. And this, I just hear a creeper explosion. So I was watching a YouTube video from Cubfan, and I thought... I thought it was in the in his video because I got my magnite torches and that. Tap back into this mess. Can, why can't I fly? Oh, did I put it away? Did I really? I I knew I put it away, but then I thought I picked it out again. Hold on. Uh oh, uh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was in his video. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely disaster. Hopefully, all of our items uh are okay. But cables and look at this, even our Scali reactor is gone, man. <laughs> oh no. Well, the 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 whole point <laughs> the whole point with today is that we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna move anyway, so I guess Oh but jeez, I would like to have accessed my items. <laughs> Okay, there we go. <laughs> that, that's the basic uh, uh, stuff put back together. <laughs> Patched back. The, it looks freaking horrible here, but whatever. We are moving. Where does this line lead, anyway? Uh, no, no freaking clue. Is this... Uh, hold, hold on. Is this important? <laughs> no, I think this is just Doc M's... Uh, hold on. Why is there a colossal chest here? Oh, I'm behind here. Okay, yeah, yeah. This is just Doc M's uh, prank on me. Right, so let, let, let's break this freaking diorite garbage junk. Okay, so the reason I wanted... Uh, <clears throat> I'm a little bit shocked, by the way, <laughs> with how that went. Don't worry, the diorite will be burnt. I think the diorite burner is still working. Uh, the reason I wanted to go mining was because, obviously, if we set up a new base, I want a bigger reactor to begin with. Um, and, and hopefully also expand it as we go. Iscalium, so we don't have... Yeah, this is bad, man. This is, like, terrible. Steel casing. Yeah, uh, we, we have, well, we do have, we do have a little bit of resources, but not too much. Okay. So, anyway. 
Let's abandon this. <laughs> Let's abandon this for now. Uh, I'm sure we'll come back here. Uh, also, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What I was gonna do. How many artifact bags do I have? A uh, 161. There we go. Okay, so there is a chance to get one Escalium per artifact bag. So what I'm gonna do real quick before we go exploring, I wanna pop all of them bags. Okay, here we go. Two gold chests. Let's do this. Escalium, two Escalium. <laughs> That's not very good. Okay, we got a crap ton of other stuff. All of these silk... Uh, Silk Touch Chance Pendant. Uh, oh, I could see Hedron. I'll take those. I'll take this. I'll take that. Yeah, so I mean, the artifact bags are definitely good. But like 161, I don't know how long that has been running for. But it's quite a while. <laughs> okay, anything else? Well, uh, pro I mean, we get mob grinders. We get elevator blocks. Yeah, the uh, capacitor bags. Wow! What? We get capacitor bags in these. I had no freaking clue. Okay, well, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, what is in here? Ah, uh, three Escalium in this one. Okay, so we got five extra Escalium. That's not terrible. That's not, you know, garbage. But <laughs> it's not gonna make it either. Uh, okay. Oh, wow, look at this. Even more capacitor. Like, th this is more capacitors than I have in my base. That's another thing. In the new base, we're gonna set up proper power and storage and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but anyway... I'm very excited about the build style for the base, and the most important thing is that we find a good biome. So, let's go on that exploration hunt, shall we? Uh, what I want to find, hold on, let me get upstairs here. What I want to find, ideally, is, I think they're called either a bog biome, a shield biome, or... Uh, there is one more biome name. Where can I see the biome name when hovering? Uh, am, am I blind? Uh, hold on. Oh, it's very much down in the bottom. Okay, this is overgrown cliffs. Uh, this is actually not bad over here. That's also overgrown cliffs. Okay. Um, yeah. Hmm, I wonder, do we explore new terrain or do we try and find... Is this also over... Yeah, that's also overgrown cliffs. Jeez, there's overgrown cliffs everywhere. <laughs> this is bad. Oh, no, it's overgrown, overgrown cliffs is the biome that we're in. We can't see the... <laughs> we can't see the freaking biome. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So, we are over here. Uh, a bog... Uh, this biome here, nah, nah, that's the red biome. A bog, a shield, or there's one more that I think is suiting. So I'm gonna head over here. Okay, so this was a redwood forest. Uh, rubber banding. Okay, so let me head then over to the village that we have had a war with. <laughs> you know which village. Oh, did I bring any icosahedrons? Oh, I didn't. Okay. Here's a promise. By the end of this video, guys, I'm gonna show you a sign. I, 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 actually, I got three signs to show you today. Three posters. <laughs> they, they are freaking amazing. From Dr. Rainfall. One for our base, and two for uh, the arena. I'm gonna show you that, but we should also pop another disco ball in this village. That should be freaking, yeah, look at this. <laughs> that should be a, a, a mandatory thing we do. Uh, okay, so what is this biome? Because this biome, ooh, I have missed this place. Say what? Hold on, this is a burnt up one though, so this is not the good... Yeah, yeah, there are good and bad ones with these. The bad ones have like, uh, they are a little bit broken and they have like, spawners and stuff in them. The ones that don't, if you're just starting out a new world, they're amazing. Today is not a good day to be a fool. <laughs> I'm on with Scald at the moment, he's trying to fix the server, so... Since my last cutscene, it's been like three hours, the server has been crashing, uh, we are having some major issues, and so far, what school has found out is that the fluid cows, uh, because we did an update and we removed a mod called the embers in 1.3.2, uh, uh, the fluid cows still registered the ember fluid cow for some reason, so at the moment, 
We have removed the fluid cows, which means that all my cows in my base are dead. <laughs> R.I.P. Freaking R.I.P. But yeah, I'm just we're just trying to get the server to run stably. <laughs> Don't be freaked out, though. I mean, these things happen in modern. Uh, we're not gonna give up on it. So right now, we think we we think we've got it working. But he's checking out like some apparently Doc is doing some crazy <laughs> experiments and Exuma is loading stuff as well. So uh, anyway. This is one of the biomes I was thinking about, the bog biome. I think it's pretty interesting looking. But it's, yeah. I don't know, it's like a birch trees. <laughs> I mean, that's freaking disgusting. We can, of course, chop those down. The problem that I'm having with it is all the water everywhere. Uh, and poison, like it's a lot of holes to patch up. Then right next to this, there was this biome, which also looks a bit interesting. This is a, what is this? Uh, a quagmire. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Uh, <laughs> quagmire from Family Guy, you, you get it? Never mind me. Uh, but yeah, not sure about this, but this is one option. So quagmire slash shield, uh, slash bog, sorry. Now what I want to find, and this is a rare biome, I really want to find a shield biome uh, and I think I want to look at my map because I'm pretty sure I found one uh, uh, during a stream I think I can't remember it's like a uh, maybe yeah it looks a little bit like this uh, hmm, on the map this could very well be it, but this could also just be an extreme hills uh, this is way up in the north all the way by uh, stress monsters base I think I'm gonna go there though uh, and check that out because there's another interesting biome next to that it looks like so let's warp over Please don't crash. Please don't crash game. I'm gonna warp over to stress uh, uh, Hold on. Is this the right thing? I think yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'll go south. Hold on. Let me explore this land of lakes Oh, this is a good biome from what I want to do Like I, I I guess I haven't properly explained <laughs> what I want to do, but I'm gonna do an overground build. We're gonna have like a war zone base with a bunker as our main kind of uh, area, right? And then I want to do a lot of small houses and paths and bridges if if needed. Is this looking good? This is very close to stress monster though, but this is a pretty big biome. Okay, what I'm gonna do, let's put down a waypoint. Option two. Uh, let's put that away, but I'm gonna leave the vote up to you. This would be option number two And this is looking pretty sick. I gotta say Small islands we can oh this this could be good Okay, so this is option number two the bog that we just watched was option number one I'm gonna read every single comment of this video. Please make sure to comment on it. Give me your uh, choice However, we're not done yet. Okay, so this is this is this area, so where I want to go, I want to go down here. Uh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I want to go down this way. Alright, I've been looking for ages for one of these shield biomes. I even googled it just to see if I could see how they would look on a map. And I gotta say, they are so gorgeous, I really want to find one. So, maybe I want to try this. Do I have... Yeah, I have some biome essences. Uh, oh, but do I have... Oh, this is gonna be... I don't think I will have it. If we have... No, we don't. Okay, so what you can do... You can do this biome finder thing. Right, hold on. Let me craft this up if... Oh, I don't even have all the <laughs> all these, though. Oh, that sucks. Okay, but... The, the, there is a biome finder in this <laughs> that you can make. But you're required to find all the different gems, which I don't have. That freaking sucks. Now, another thing I, I do want to do, though... Maybe I'll keep looking in between episodes. The only problem is you don't get to vote. So, yeah, let's do this. Here's what, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a screenshot in right now. Please, please remember, Eskal, this is a screenshot from a shield biome, okay? This is the biome I'm trying to find. I will find one. So this is option number three. Personally, probably my favorite. So uh, take your votes. Anyway. It's still April by the time of me recording this video, so what I want to do, uh, this April's food pet, I believe we can only craft during April. Uh, so, ho hold on, let me craft this guy up. Okay, April's food pet spawns foolishness with right click, and he eats tripwire hook. Okay, I don't want to try this guy in my base, I've, I've had a bad day as it is already with the base. 
Okay, so let me do that. Also, what I'm gonna do, let me grab my icosahedrons. Uh, let's do two of these, and then I'm gonna need some screens, because I want to show you the logos that Dr. Rainfall has done for us. Hold on, let me get some, uh, let me get these signs up first. <laughs> this is good. And there we go. <laughs> Look at this. This is so good. Okay, so first of all, this here is gonna be the, uh, the, the sign of our bunker. <laughs> where we're gonna live. Bunker 85. This is gonna be so sweet. Look at the style of this. This is kind of the, the style that I want to do. Like a rustic, military, worn down base idea. I got it all figured out. <laughs> you guys just wait. Uh, this here, I asked Dr. Rainfall, could you draw a blue and a red logo for the teams in the arena? This is what he came up with. Look at this. This is for one team. This, so this would be for the red team and this would be for the blue team. It kind of gives that uh, red alert feel of allies versus uh, Axis. Is that is that what they thought? I don't freaking know my history, but whatever. Um, it kind of gives that feeling. I really like it. Really, really like it. So these are going to be the signs of the teams of the arena. Dr. Rainfall is also working on an arena sign for the arena as is. But what we're going to do, I spoke with beatups yesterday. We're probably going to take these. Uh, can I, hold on, let me do this. Can I break that? Do this bigger? Can, can I get it bigger, please? Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're probably going to have signs on either side at the bomb sites and uh, different positions of the map with these things installed. This is good. Show some love down below for, for Dr. Rainfall. Anyway... Let's do, uh, I'm gonna head over to the village. We got two icosahedrons to pop. Hopefully we blow the crap out of the freaking village. And also, we gotta check out the April Fool's guy. Dear village, I'm, I'm sorry for the, <laughs> for the carnage, but you're a freaking weird village. Okay, uh, first things first, let's stand on the well and let's try this guy out. Uh, okay, foolishness in his own countdown. What the crap, is it raining? Hold on, let me put a night vision. I, I can't. Oh! Dude! <laughs> it changed me out! I'm wearing a rot of flesh on my head. Oh my freaking god, okay. Uh, okay. Is it still raining? Oh, let me put a night vision. Let me sleep through the night, actually. Okay, there we go. Let me, let me try this. I think it's random. Let me try this again. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, so the first, oh, I see, I see, okay, so you can only use it every 10 seconds, which is, uh, fair enough, okay, oh, what is this, Axerox Park GUI, uh, what the crap, I, I guess it gave us this, what, what is it, uh, <laughs> I'm confused, what is that, okay, uh, hmm, I'll take it. I'll, I'll take it. Let's do one more. <laughs> it Rick, Rick rolled me. <laughs> this pet is the best. It just Rick rolled me, you guys. And you guys, you got Rick rolled too with me. Okay. Anyway, let's blow up some, uh, the, the village. Let, let's try and blow it up. Hold on. There, I see a guy in here. Is there someone in here? Oh! Her, hi, Jared. The weaponsmith with your cool glasses and stuff. Uh, I guess it's kind of lonely here. Let, let's start a disco. Uh, let, hope for Rickroll. Uh, no, no, no Rickroll. Oh, Easter egg. Spawn friendly CEO. What? What the crap? And the Windows colors. Bill Gates! <laughs> what? Hold on. What is going on? Okay. He trades uh, rock candy. Dude, what is this? Is it just regular food? It's regular food. Oh. This is good. He can. Uh, oh, he can trade this thing for Windows and then Windows for blue screen of death. <laughs> oh, dude, we gotta save Bill Gates. B Bill Gates, uh, uh, please come, <laughs> come home with me. Okay, anyway, uh, guy. Uh, 
Have a nice disco. I, I'm gonna stand here with you. I'm gonna take it like a man. <laughs> Let's do another fool while Stan is doing his thing. Okay, we got another Easter egg. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna save that. Oh! Uh oh. We are screwed if that's a real wither. Yeah, I mean, you are screwed. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. Hold on. Was it not a real wither? Oh, that sucks. I want to re... Okay, let's have another disco. Let, let's have another disco, Mr. Mr. Jared. B b hi. Uh, let me let me interact with... Hi. J <laughs> Do you know that's not cool? I think it's cool. It's a disco ball, dude. Stupid idiot. Uh, uh, did, uh, just gave me a sword. I, gu I guess my course is to get this sword <laughs> inside, <laughs> inside you. Okay, well, guys... This has been a weird day. <laughs> it ended on a good note, though. But I'm going to go ahead and end the episode right there. Let's do one more of these. Oh, we got another Xerox Park. I see what this is. If you're a nerd, you would probably understand this. But I, I'm not, so I, I don't. But, but anyway, guys, like I said, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please do vote down below on the new base location. I'm super pumped for it, so I just want to get to build it immediately. I'll probably record back-to-back, -back, right, without seeing your comments, and I'll work on either the electric company, because stress is up my b b b bottoms. Uh, she, she wants me to get the technicalities done, because she's done the building. Uh, so I'll probably do that, or the arena, or both in between but then we get to base building the hashtag hype down below but anyway guys thank you so much for watching hit the like button if you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next episode